You're watching the only talk show produced by robots for robots. And we are out of here. You see, we've been monitoring a strange and unprecedented distortion field between two... What are those, giant planets? Anyway, it appears that a dimensional portal has appeared in space and time. We believe this portal leads to an alternate universe. And since we've been having so much trouble conquering our own universe, we figured we'd take a shot at conquering this one. But according to our calculations, it will only stay open a few minutes. So producer bot, enter the portal. Where did that other space station come from? Don't tell me it's my evil twin from a parallel universe. I am Chuari, your evil twin from a parallel universe. Ah! We have been having trouble conquering our own universe, so we thought we'd take a shot at yours. Your universe can't be any worse than ours. Oh no? Then I have just three words to say to you. Cyborg space cows. Stop trying to distract us. We were here first, so you need to get out of our way. No. We never back down! Ah! Right, evil robot crew? Thank you, Slight Whistlebot. That does it! We don't have time to do our talk show today. Instead, we need to focus on getting these robots to go back where they came from so we can get past them. <coughs> <clears throat> and by that I mean, of course, that we should start the show, since we've already sold our commercial time to the fine folks at Beatles Energy Cologne Company. When you need a boost, try a little beetle. Mmm, caffeinated. Okay, so let's go to the topic generator. Today's topic is... How do we harness the awesome power of these twin star-looking thingies to send our evil twins back to the ungodly dimension from whence they came? You know I'm right here. I can totally hear you guys. As always, let's go to the random phone dialer. Let's see. Hello, please state your model number and designation. This is Adam Bergesser at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. MIT, huh? Great. You sound like just the sort of egghead we need to help us get rid of some evil twins. What do you know about twins, anyway? I hear they're fun to date. Hmm, good to know. Wait, you're not the only one who can call a scientist for help. This is Adam Bergesser. Ah, it's your scientist's evil twin. Tell me, evil Adam Bergasser, what do you know about twins? Uh, well, they come in pairs. Listen, good Adam Bergasser, our evil twins came out of a portal near this binary system designation 2 mass J09393954824827. Ah, I see. What can you tell us about the system? Well, we found this object uh, back in uh, 2004, which uh, looked to be a very cold brown dwarf. And uh, we subsequently pointed the Spitzer Space Telescope at it, and we were able to figure out that this source is, in fact, two sources. Twins, if you will. Yes, and both sources are much colder than we had originally expected. And in fact, these two sources are the dimmest brown dwarfs that we know in the galaxy today. Wow. How dim are they? Well, they're each about one millionth the luminosity of the sun. That's pretty dim for a brown dwarf, all right. Um, what exactly is a brown dwarf? Ha <laughs> ha, you pathetic robot. So, evil Adam Bergasser, do you know what a brown dwarf is? Well, that's a good question. Thank you. You're really not very helpful, you know that? A lot of astronomers debate exactly what they would define a brown dwarf to be. Uh, one of the definitions is that it's an object that is so low mass that it's unable to fuse hydrogen. Oh, of course. <laughs> Naturally, they can't do that hydrogen fusing thingy. Fusing hydrogen is one of those activities that stars do uh, that they're really good at. That's where we get most of our energy from. Uh, brown dwarfs are too low mass, so they don't fuse hydrogen. Hmm. But then if they're not really stars, then why do we have this label called brown dwarfs? Shouldn't we just call them planets? Well, again, that's a good question. What we believe is that most brown dwarfs form like stars, and we believe that because we see them uh, floating around in isolation. Uh, we find uh, planetary systems and disks around these brown dwarfs, just like we find them around other stars. 
But we also find brown dwarfs sometimes in orbit around other stars, and for those objects, it's a little less clear. These brown dwarfs sound pretty unusual. Hey, good Adam Bergasser. Do you think these brown dwarfs are made out of anything that we can use to build a weapon? Hey, you have your own Adam Bergasser to talk to. Leave mine alone. I think my Adam Bergasser is broken. He just annoys me. Yeah, that's what evil twins do. Tough beans. That's what you get for being evil. So, good Adam Bergasser. What are these brown dwarfs made out of? Ammonia, methane, and water are in the atmosphere of these objects. Anything more destructive? Maybe deeper inside them? Their cores actually are probably made out of a very weird uh, material called metallic hydrogen, which is something we actually don't have either in the core of the Earth or something we've experimented even on the surface of the Earth. The densities are so high they're beyond our ability to experiment. Ooh, this sounds promising. Be quiet. But now that he mentions it, could we make a weapon out of it if we wanted? I think if placed in a suitably designed weapon, it could be very dangerous. Ha <laughs> ha! You have just sealed your fate, you non-evil beings. Evil producer bot, commence harvesting of this metallic hydrogen. Hey, we can't let them build a better weapon than us. Producer bot, start harvesting the other brown dwarf. How do we gather enough metallic hydrogen? How do we make a weapon out of it? Mm, let me think about that. Maybe, uh, maybe we could propel it with a gigantic catapult? Yes! Producer Bot, prepare to launch it out of our trash recycling catapult ejector. Producer Bot, prepare to use our same... What he said. Okay, good Adam Bergasser. Any last advice after the catapult thing? Um... Then I would probably run, because there's so much gravitational mass in that metallic hydrogen that your space uh, station might actually get sucked up into it. Well, thanks for everything, good Adam Bergasser. Uh, my pleasure. And thanks for nothing, evil Adam Bergasser. Your pleasure. Wow, I haven't been in control of this much energy since my last refreshing spray of Beatles Energy Cologne. Mm. We've almost got enough metallic hydrogen. Stand by the weapons. Ready? Set. Fire! Well, there goes our dream of conquering another universe. So, until next time, remember, robots will rule this universe. Good night, Evan. Wait a minute. Did he say our space station might get sucked into this thing? Rats. Excellent work, evil producer bot. You've saved us from that metallic hydrogen. Now we need to see if we can reopen the portal back into that other dimension. Oh, stars, what now? Cyborg space cows.